Hello, and in this video, I will be showing you how to operate the Adafruit NeoPixel. With it, you need an Arduino to operate it, but I'm going to use the uh, Pro Trinket by Adafruit because it's the smallest and easiest method for me. So you'll need three wire, three uh, rubber wires, one uh, Pro Trinket, and an uh, a NeoPixel, which is what we're going to operate. So. Let's build this thing. Okay, so I have now hooked up the put the NeoPixel and the Pro Trinket into the breadboard. So first, you connect the plus symbol of the, of the NeoPixel to five volts on the Trinket. Then you hook up the G for ground to the uh, pin labeled G right uh, right above the um, five volt pin. I'm just gonna make sure that's right. Yep, okay, so oop, the five volt pin's one lower. I almost got that wrong. Okay, so I've hooked up the pl the uh, plus to the five to the five volts on there. And I've hooked up the G on the NeoPixel to the G on the um <coughs> trinket. Now I'll connect the in uh in pin on the on the NeoPixel to any pin. I'm just gonna use pin digital twelve. Okay, now we need to get the program. So, and let me go get the program ready. Okay, now I've got the code set up. So let's let's take a quick take take a look at the code. Here it is. So basically, what it's doing it's including the um, NeoPixel uh, library. Then this line here, what it does is it's saying pin one there for how many pixels are, and then twelve for pin twelve. Uh, you can change that if you hook it up to a different hook it if you hook it up to a different pin on a trinket. Then the the pin there, you can change the second parameter t to be whatever pin it is. Anyway, then, then I'm just doing this. I have this little function set C set color, which I'm just setting it to red because it goes red, green, blue, then pixel number. So this NeoPixel should light up red when I uh, upload the code. So I'm just gonna come over here, plug in the uh, micro USB connector to the trinket. Okay, so now it's flashing, so now I'm just going to go click Upload. It's compiling sketch. Uploading. That worked. That certainly did work. Okay, so this is working. Now, if we want to change the color, let's, let's, let's do green. So I'm going to enter... Okay, I'm going to show you in a second. I'm entering 255 for the, uh, col for the color in the, middle, in the middle, as you can see over here. So that's uh that there should be green. So watch that there. Go press the button. Okay, it's pulsing. Upload. That worked as well. So now uh, let's have it a white with a variable brightness with a potentiometer. I'll be right back once I've got the potentiometer. Okay, so I've wired the pot to analog five, and and I have just wrote the code. So this should control how much uh, how powerful the green is. So let's go upload the sketch. Oh, actually, I'll show you before. So it's basically doing uh, BRIG brightness e equals analog read A5. And it's just doing set color to the uh, zero, comma, that number. That way it's, it's going to vary the brightness. So when I go press that to get into bootloader mode, click upload. All right, let's see if this works. Uh, that does work. Although I did something just really stupid. Oops! I'll be right back. What I just there <coughs> did there is I just um, was saying the RGB value that's supposed to be from zero to two fifty five to uh, one one thousand and twenty three. So it was not working. So I resolved that in my program. So let's just go uh, attempt to re-upload this. Let's see how this works now. Well, I think that works a bit better. I can change this tip to change the red color red. Okay, so I'm gonna make this now change the color red. I'm, I mean, hot blue. Okay, so now this should adjust how um, much blue there is. Is it pulsing? Yes, it is. Upload. Blue. Let's see. Super bright. And it's like barely on. Oops, just put on the camera. So I think that's pretty successful. Oops, 
Ouch. Okay, now I'm going to make it just go um, cycle through the colors. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just got this thing to change colors. So this is a strip example with one LED. So yeah, you can do quite a lot of this stuff with just one of these trinkets and a NeoPixel. Bye.